Okay, here we are in the Youth Companion Magazine. This is September 7th of 1993. So, 1893. Oh, 1893. I'm sorry. 1893. How can I say that? 1893. Okay, so we have 120 years back. Uh, some really nice stories that are in this magazine and stuff. And we're going to bring one to you right now. Okay, and this is going to be read by Jennifer. An Escape in the Sky Once in a while, a meteor plunging into the atmosphere of the Earth is nearly consumed by the heat developed through the friction nor precipitated upon the surface of the globe but pursues its way out into open space again. Its brief career with human keen may be compared to that of a comet traveling in a parabolic orbit, which as if yielding to a heading, curiosity almost plunges into the sun and then hastens away again, never to return. In July 1892, one of these escaping meteors was seen in Australia and Italy. Careful computations based upon the observations which were made in various places have shown that it was visible along a track in the upper air about 680 miles in length. When at its nearest point to the earth it was elevated 42 miles above the surface. From this point it receded from the earth its elevation when last seen being no less than 98 miles. Although the resistance of the atmosphere was not sufficient to destroy the motion of this strange visitor which contented itself with so brief a glimpse of our globe, yet it carried the effects of that resistance out into space with it, and can never shake them off. No matter what its previous course may have been, the retardation that it suffered during its passage through the air sufficed to turn it into a different direction, and to send it along another path that which it had been following. Wow. Okay. So how do you like that about what they used to think back then, huh? Interesting. All right. Be sure to sub me and I'll bring you some more of the Youth Companion magazine of 120 years ago. Bye-bye.